So these are the teams that uh, performed best in the Euro qualifiers. This was their action. And uh, we start with the best of the best. So what uh, better than asking the legendary hands of Gigi Buffon to help us uh, to allocate uh, these five teams uh, as Germany has already taken position in, in Group A. Gigi, please, uh, this is your moment. I'm ready. Shuffled and uh, you will tell us the first name, uh, the first team, uh, which is joining Group B. Spain. Spain uh, joined uh, three time winners uh, of the Euro together with Germany three times. Uh, 12th uh, Euro appearance. Germany, sorry, Spain uh, goes into Group B. And uh, Sami, you will tell us in which position of Group B Spain will, will, Spain will play. So, position of Spain is um, B1. B1. So Spain in Group B, position one, and Gigi now another team from the top seeds. Pot one, uh, Group C is awaiting the first team. England. England uh, runners up uh, in the Euro 2020, 11th appearance uh, for a position of England in Group C. I will ask Ricardo Quaresma now. To, uh, to help, first in their group for the fourth time in a row in the qualifiers, led by their captain Harry Kane, who has scored 27 goals in total in the, between qualifiers and final tournaments. C4. C4 is the position of England. So Group C also has a team now, and uh, we can move forward uh, with uh, Group D. France. And now France, uh, twice winners of the Euro, 11th appearance. Uh, Thomas, it's up to you to tell us what's the position of France in Group D. Uh, we led again by Coach Deschamps, the third uh, time that uh, Deschamps leads the team to the Euro as a coach. D4. D4 for France. So France uh, as a position and uh, we can proceed. The next team will join Group E. Belgium. That's Belgium. Runners up in 1980, the seventh Euro appearance, the third successive. Angelo Scaristeas, please. You will give us the position of Belgium. Unbeaten in the last 22 UEFA Euro qualifying matches. E1. E1, the position of Belgium. Only one group is left and only one team. Gigi, the last ball from your pot. And... Uh, Portugal. That's Portugal. Portugal winners of 2016, uh, nine times in the Euro. Steve McManaman will now tell us uh, in which position uh, Portugal will play. F3. F3 is the position of Portugal. With this, uh, we have completed pot one, and the ball is back in the court of Esther and Pedro. So we move on to pot two. Here are the six teams to be drawn.
So another great lot of teams, five group winners in this spot. Uh, there is a whole country uh, eagerly waiting to uh, learn uh, which team will play with Germany in Group A. Wesley Schneider, our Dutch legend of today. You have to deliver this name. This team will play in Group A against Germany and another two teams. Hungary. Hungary. So the first team drawn for Group A together with Germany is Hungary. David Silva will uh, help us now discover what's uh, their position for Hungary, the fifth Euro appearance, third times in a row for Hungary. A3. A3, that's uh, the position of uh, Hungary. And uh, we can now go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> the next team drawn uh, will join uh, Group B. Albania. Albania is now joining Spain in Group B. We can uh, find out uh, what their position is. Sami will help us. Second time in the group stage of the UEFA Euro for Albania after 2016. B4. B4 is their position in Group B. And now we go ahead, Group C, <coughs> awaiting the second team after England. Denmark. That is Denmark. So Denmark together with England, like in the semi-final of the last Euro. So Group C, position drawn now by Ricardo Quaresma. Denmark winners in 1992. The 10th Euro appearance for Denmark. And uh, let's see what is their position. C2. C2 for Denmark. We go ahead, another team for Group D. Austria. Austria now, round of 16 in 2020 for Austria, position drawn now by Thomas Rosicki. Fourth Euro appearance, but the, the record there, Bastic, who was the oldest goal scorer in the UEFA Euro final tournament in 2008. D3. D3 for Austria. So Austria and France uh, together and uh, two groups are uh, now left and this for this spot. The first is group E where we have already allocated Belgium. Romania. And with Belgium uh, we have now Romania who played the quarterfinals in 2000. Angelos, please tell us what their position is. Sixth Europeans for Romania who won uh, their qualifying group without a loss. E3. E3 for Romania. And uh, only one group, Group F, is left, uh, where Portugal is waiting Turkey. to see the name. And the name is Turkey. And uh, they join Portugal <coughs> in Group F. So we are halfway through the draw. What is this one? <laughs> just their position. <laughs> we were a little bit too fast. <laughs> F1. F1 is the position of Turkey and now we can move on. So our groups are taking uh, more and more shape. Uh, now it is the time of pod number three and uh, Blaise Matuidi is ready to assist with this draw. First team drawn to uh, join Germany and Hungary in group A. Scotland. That is Scotland. Scotland uh, goes to group A in uh, which position we'll find out in a few seconds. Fourth Euro appearance. The second successive for Scotland, uh, which was one of the hosts in 2020. A2. A2 for Scotland, uh, and uh, I can make an announcement that uh, Germany-Scotland uh, will be the opening match of the Euro on the 14th of June at the Arena in Munich. So Germany versus Scotland. Second team drawn, and this team is for Group B. Croatia. 
Croatia. Croatia joining Spain and Albania. Sami will tell us uh, in which position. Where I know uh, Luka Modric could become uh, the first Croatian player to play for the fifth time in a UEFA Euro. B2. B2 for uh, Croatia. So Spain, Croatia and Albania is now the li current lineup in Group B. The next team uh, is, uh, of course, uh, joining Group C, where they will find uh, England and Denmark. Slovenia. Slovenia joining uh, Group C. Ricardo, please tell us in which position. Back to the Euro after uh, 24 years. Slovenia, they were in Euro 2000. And uh, C1. Their position is C1. So Slovenia playing in Group C, position one uh, with Denmark and England. Another ball and uh, another team uh, this time for Group C. D. Netherlands. Netherlands. Uh, Netherlands again. Netherlands with France. The same as in the qualifying group. Uh, their position is now drawn by uh, Thomas. Group D for, Nether for the Netherlands. Winners in 1988. D2. D2 to the position of the Netherlands. Now we are ready to proceed. Two teams left in this spot. Group E is the first one which will uh, say one of them allocated. Slovakia. That's uh, Slovakia. And Slovakia is now facing Belgium and Romania in uh, Group E. Angelos Karisteas will tell us uh, exactly in which position. Sixth time for Slovakia in this uh, tournament. E2. E2, the position of Slovakia, together with Belgium and Romania. Only one team left uh, now for Group F. Czechia. Czechia. Group uh, F uh, for Czechia. Steve, uh, please uh, give us their exact position. They will play with uh, Turkey and uh, Portugal. F4. F4 is the position of Czechia. Everything is done. Part 3 is also concluded. Uh, 